I just want to talk about this recent uh, media fake news story about Trump revealing uh, national security information to the Russians. Let's talk about what we really know. There was an ISIS plot to blow up another Russian passenger plane. We knew about it. President Trump warned the Russians that ISIS was targeting Russian passenger planes coming from a particular city. That's the leak. That's the heart of the story. So the Russians were able to prevent that terrorist attack. Now the media has blown that up. They could have caught the terrorists and really put a dent in what ISIS was trying to do. But thanks to what the media has done, the terrorists know that the Russians are on to them. Part two, the Russians would owe us one. So if the Russians became aware of a terrorist plot against the United States, they would be obligated to tell us because he warned them of an attack against the Russians. The Russians would then have to tell us if they knew about an attack against the United States. What the media, what the lying fake news is telling you is that the president betrayed American national security by warning the Russians about an imminent attack against one of their airliners. That doesn't put any Americans at risk. As a matter of fact, it could save American lives in the future if the Russians return the favor. That's what this story is about. That's how fake the news is right now. Part two, the person who leaked that information to the Washington Post is a felon. Every presidential conversation cannot be in the media. It, it hamstrings us. That threatens American lives. My name is Tim. This is Tim's TV. That's what real news is.